Okay guys, so now we'll be talking about female urethra. But before going to that, we need to have an orientation on this model. So the most posterior structure, as usual, is the sacrum. And in front of it, we have the rectum. That becomes the anal canal. And then we have this space, which is called pouch of Douglas. This is the uterus, its body, fundus, and the cervix and you can see the vagina and then you can see that the uterus is leaning over this structure which is nothing but the urinary bladder and this is the cavity of the urinary bladder and this is this whole length is the female urethra which opens in the vulva further we can see the fallopian tube one part of it fimbria so now we can see here these are the common iliac and then you are looking at the internal iliac vessel and the external iliac vessel. And there you can see the ureter which is approaching to the bladder. As our discussion today is about the female urethra, so now I will be focusing in female urethra. Okay, so now coming back, we all know this is urinary bladder, this is symphysis pubis. And this is the cavity of the urinary bladder. So you can see that this is the bladder neck. But in female, unlike the male model, the female urethra is very short and there are no curvatures on its pathway and there are no names which has been mentioned here. So we have the location of the urethra and you can see that it's so close when it opens in the vulva. It's so close to the opening of the vagina. That's why the urinary tract infections are very common in cases of females. The reasons are a short urethra, a straight urethra and close proximity of this female urethra to the external vaginal opening. Now let's talk about the, the control of urination, the sphincters. In females, we have a symbolic internal sphincter which is not that functional but a very strong external sphincter. And that external sphincter is located somewhere here and that is controlled by somatic nerve and the somatic nerve who control my external sphincter that is voluntary and the nerve is pudendal nerve and this point is very important. If I compare with the male model, male has an internal sphincter, a well-established internal sphincter and well-established external sphincter.